Okay, so this is something I've done before. This one I'm doing to see if possibly he bucked because he was scared. Because if a young horse bucks when they're scared, usually it's something underneath them like this that's scaring them. And think about it, it if something scares them, they need to jump up and get away from it. So I've done this twice before, but it's been maybe a week or two ago that I did it. So he's handling that fine. But I'm going to do it with a lot more intensity today than I did the two previous times. So if this is gonna scare him, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scare him, and if he needs to buck it out, then let him buck it out without me being on his back. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. That's not really what I want, but I need to find out what's going on here. So tie this here. Tie this one on the other side. Onto my saddle strings here. And then when I ask him to move off, I'm going to try to stay out of the way. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of pressure here on this horse. That's kind of the idea. I'm pressuring him. Just because it's scary, it's not going to kill you. All right, go this way. And just because you're scared, you can still pay attention to me. Good. Pretty good. So he's humping a little bit, but he's not overreacting too much. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I like that he stopped when I asked him to. Now there he stopped just because he wanted the noise to quit. This horse is really smart. He figures things out really fast. Woo! That time he didn't stop very well. Okay. All right, so I waited for him, he licked his lips and he shook his head, which is a sign of relaxing. Now, he's handling this okay. And he did, he did kick up and buck a little bit the very first day I did this. That's been, like I said, a couple weeks ago. Now, let me add to the pressure here. And I have also done this, but I haven't done these two things together. So I'm just cranking up the pressure. If he's gonna get upset and lose his cookies over it, I want him to do it without me being on his back. If he can handle it, great. Okay. Okay, good. All right. All right. Now, ask him to move, and that tarp will blow off at some point. Okay. All right, he thought about humping up right there, but he didn't. Ooh. I need to readjust the milk jugs here in the front. All right. Okay. We're putting a lot of pressure on this colt. 
on purpose. Okay. Let him find out this is not going to kill him. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Did you hear him take a deep breath and let it out? He was holding his breath. Okay. He was holding his breath. The same as you would if something was scary to you. You'd go, ah! hold your breath. That's what he was doing. Okay. All right, good. So. Wasn't too bad so he panicked a little but it wasn't too bad so this time I'm going to attach this so it doesn't come off as easily it still might it won't come off as easily okay. Actually, I think what I'll do is just tie it on here. So I'm going to tie it with my front saddle string on both sides. Won't make quite as much flapping, but it'll stay there. Okay. he's doing there so what he did right there was when I'm scared I don't have to obey you yes you do don't ignore that stuff don't ignore that stuff okay all right so he's reasonably okay there. I'm going to take the lead rope off and just send him around the round pin here. All right? Good. I want him to just lope around here. Figure out that it makes noise, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do before I get on him is uh, remind him of a few things with some pretty heavy pressure, more so than what I might normally do, uh, just to make sure that he's okay with it. All right. So I'm going to slap the stirrups here. Ask him to move, bring this out, make a lot of motion here. He kind of moved away there a little bit, which I didn't ask him to do. Move. So I'm dealing with both issues here, whether it was fear or whether it was resistance. Either way, this kind of deals with both of them because if it's fear, he's getting over the noise, he's getting over stuff under his belly. Okay. I'm gonna move his hip, I'm gonna move his hip, I'm gonna move his hip, I'm gonna ask him to trot off. Which he didn't wanna do, because he tend to freeze up a little bit here. Come on, move. Okay. Woo. Okay. So, one of the 
the good parts of this right here and see this horse. He's so smart. He knew I was going to ask him to move. So he just went ahead and moved. This horse has easily developed bad habits. Easy. Easy. Whoa. Wait on me. Okay. Wait on me. So I'm being a lot more firm with him than I would with most colts after, with 15 hours of training. Most of them I wouldn't be this firm and this insistent. I'd give them a lot more room to fidget around and whatever, okay? But this one, is, I'm trying not to let him outsmart me. That's what I'm trying, <laughs> okay? Okay, good. Flop that around. Okay, move your hip. Go. Okay. Woo. Okay. So one of the advantages here, when I get on his back, he's gonna get a break. Back up. Okay. Me riding him is not near as stressful as all this stuff I've been doing. He gets a break when I sit on him. Good. Let's get the shoulder over. Okay. That was terrible. Step that shoulder over. There. There. Okay. Okay. Now let me work on a little shoulder movement. And you can see how sweaty he is. It's heat index is about a hundred out here right now. Okay, move this shoulder, that shoulder, good. Move that shoulder, good. Move that shoulder. Move that shoulder, okay. The reason he didn't want to move that shoulder is because his girlfriend was standing right there beside the camera. He didn't want to leave her. Okay. He's breathing pretty hard. Good. He's looking for some relief. Good. I'm gonna give you relief for the Neo. I'm gonna sit on your back and let you take a break. Okay. You bend his head all the way around like you would with a bronchi colt. And keep his head bent there a minute. Now let him take a break. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> now, do you see what he just did? He pulled that head around there and touched my leg with his nose, and I didn't ask him to. He did that because that's what I usually do. See? He's already figured out the pattern. He's smarter than the average Appaloosa. Aren't you, buddy? So what I'd like to do is just sit here as long as it takes for him to lick his lips and drop his head. I'm totally relaxed. Relaxing all the muscles in my body. He's licking his lips. His head is gradually going down. Okay, where's his release from all this I've been doing? He's happy I'm up here, aren't you, Neo? Yeah, aren't you glad I'm up here? Okay. Okay, and I'm getting ready to reinforce it again. See his head going down gradually. And he's breathing pretty hard. Good. There. So that's where I'd like his head to be every time I get on. That's what I'd like to see. All right. So I'm going to reinforce this. 
Dip his nose this way. Get off on the opposite side. And put him back to work. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, move. Move. Okay, move that shoulder. Move this shoulder. Get over there. Good. Good. Now back up. Back up. Back. 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 I'm talking for your benefit. If, I if you guys weren't here, I don't talk. I'm talking so you'll know what I'm asking him to do. Whew. Okay, good. Now I'm going to get back on him and let him rest again. Beg I want him begging me. Please get on. Please get on. Please get on and let me rest. Okay. Is that around here? Okay, good. So his head's up, up in the moon. Let's wait for him to take a break. So I was explaining to one of my riding students the other day how to fake your horse out and pretend you're relaxed. This particular young girl, she gets tense when she's riding, something happens and she goes, ah. And I said, you can pretend you're relaxed even when you're not, all right? Just think about your legs, relax your legs. Think about your seat, relax your seat, relax your back, okay? Relax your shoulders, good, he's licking and chewing. So am I relaxed? No, this horse bucked with me yesterday. I'm not relaxed. But I'm trying to make him think I am. Okay? And again, I don't think he's going to do it again today. But we're about to find out, aren't we? Okay, hope it's not one of those funny videos on YouTube. I'm going to wait a little longer on him. Good. He's licking and chewing. Okay. And I want all my horses to know this means you're off the clock. Anytime my hat's waving, you can take a break. You do not have to do anything. Good. It's desensitizing, but it's also a training thing. Okay. Now I'm going to ride him. <sighs> That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> kind of waiting for that head to drop just a little bit more and then I'm going to ask him to walk. Okay. So now that his head's down, I'm just going to ask him gently to walk off. Okay. Good boy. Let him just think, wow, this is so much easier than all that other stuff we were doing. Yeah. 